You're right here, like and think he's got two nations out of the One nation under me, under. Barbie coming to you live from Toronto, Ontario. I'm having an awesome time in Cleveland today. Hope you are as well. When we come today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about our garage tower project. Yeah, please, yeah, baby, our garage tower project. Barbie needs you. Live in the in the yard. Woo! What a joy! What a joy! Let's come back here, my friends. And I just want to say, those of you here for the first time, if you would please click on that subscribe button and the bell notification so you continue receiving fresh, new, fitted new videos, motivational videos, and worldwide videos. Now, you, when you talk about the Philippines and you talk about expats living here, living large and in charge, you know what I'm saying? That's what me and Lisa D don't. We live in large and in charge, you know? Because we can afford to do that. We're living in the Philippines, man. The dollar travels. Very, very far. You know what I'm saying? We, we can make it rain up in this place sometimes. <laughs> we to say sometimes. But yeah, uh, we're having an awesome time here and we're having a project done. And when you live in the Philippines, guys, and you have a house in life. What's up? I didn't know that you were lying. You're a queen, she didn't think I was lying. But when you live in the Philippines, you have a house in life. Our house, we have a small garage. Everything in the Philippines is small. We've got a tiny garage. We can barely get ourselves in the car in the garage. But the thing about the Philippines is this. They always like to tile their garage. Me, I don't I could care less about tiling in the garage, man. But at least it was getting after this is fit, man. <laughs> when you tile you say nothing. Yes, okay, okay. But well, it's not big on my list. But yesterday, we had some guys that were working out here. They were doing somebody else's house, right? So Lisa D said, uh, oh, Excuse me. <laughs> Can you tell me how much you charge us for this garage? And God gave him an excellent price. We could not refuse the price. So we got some people out there doing our garage right now. You go ahead and bail it, put up, and listen, do that garage. The child in the garage, it's going to take two or three days. When they get through, man, I'm going to show y'all how I look, okay? I'm going to show you how we do it. Uh, how we do it. Uh, 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 how we do it. That's how we do it in the Philippines, baby. We large and in charge. You know what I'm saying? That's what, hey, and any place you live in this world, baby, yeah, you, you black man, you, 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 you brown man, yeah, you Caucasian man, any place you live in this world, you want the best and not the rest. You want to live large and in charge. You deserve the best, baby. I put my time in, man. Tell me, I put my 40 years plus in working for somebody else, working for the man night and day. Big meal keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. <laughs> Good, I did it, man. So my time to be me, do me, love me, live my life like I want to. I'm fine. And hey, 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 and I'm I'm ready. I'm enjoying my life. This is what you can do, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to come to the Philippines, get it and get it done. Right? It's, I'm waiting on you to make up your mind to have a good time in the Philippines, like I believe. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. I was trying to do this on the cell phone. My doggone sound, and I got a nice Samsung. It ain't, it's, it won't pull it up like it. I'm supposed to. Got to get on the stream yard. I won't, I won't go and show you the guys, introduce you to the guys, show you what they're doing. They, don't, they just, they just got here about an hour ago, and they got half of the garage done already. You know, they laid down the, the tiles, but half of the garage already. I'm like, whoa, these guys work fast. But yeah, they, they fast, they work, and they work it fast. You know what I'm saying. I like the kind of people that I'm like I'm liking them already next week. They're working fast. They ain't playing. Yep. They ain't playing. They want the hard <laughs> time. That's what you want. Whatever you do work, we have some work done for you, especially for these, you want motivated workers. Because what happens is that whenever you do work in the Philippines, or have someone do work for you in the Philippines, what they do is they charge a day labor worker. Work. Okay? What does that mean? What's your man? What's your man? Day labor, man. They charge by the dog all day. And so what happens is this. If they want some more more time and they want to ask you for the more more time, you know what they do? They I snow need a video. I need a video. They snow poke. That's what they might they might work two hours for a whole day. <laughs> but they try to stretch it out. They want you to pay more more time. 
You know, because he get paid by the day, right? So at least you got a little. <laughs> she got a Samsung too. It ain't work. I'm get rid of yourself. I've never had a prop Samsung with a problem. It always, always serve me well. My phone, I don't know. Every time I touch it, it's like crazy, man. And I'm, the one, I'm out of warranty. That's what made me so mad. All, I've had Samsung's all my life. And they always work. This first one after cool with me. What you got to do? Okay, go on, go on with the Samsung. Go on, go on, I don't need all that. He said, wait, I have to, he heard him messing up too. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with Samsung, but I know what's going on with me. We, we, we're getting our ties done in the garage, and we're having a nice time. And I wanted to touch bases with my people. I tried to do it on the handheld, but the handheld went after the attack of the pool with me. So I had to get up on screen, y'all. I'm going to show you step by step what they were doing. We're all over the world, but I couldn't do it. It's a picture. All right, yeah, let me show you a picture. This is the picture. You can see if it's the real life. Because I can see it. I'm looking right at That's the picture. Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. That's the picture right here. See one of the workers working on the garage top. Okay. And I need you to put that back. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. But yeah, we're having a good time right now. I'm loving it, man. I can't wait till my garage. Hey, that's going to be my new man cave. When I get Thanks, there. The video I took. When I get my new garage door done, tied up, that's gonna be my new man cave, baby. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hanging out in there. What you doing, Ricky? The video. Okay. So that's she saw the video, y'all. Uh, can you send it to my photo? Okay, we'll do that. Okay. I, I, when we come tomorrow, when I come tomorrow, I have some video. DC gonna take video throughout the day. She'll have some video and I'll show you this progress of what they're doing. Okay? You with me, Jake? Let's go. All right, so today, though I had a top of head, everything ready for you, but that snapped it out. Because my phone didn't work right. So I, I'm on stream, y'all. I don't have a, a set focus or set lineup. So I'm going to talk. I'm going to give you some random ideas, random thoughts that I need you to be aware of so that you won't be scared of and you'll be able to be, uh, apprehend what's going on in this world. First, I'm going to talk to you about Ukraine. And then I'm I, here. What? You did alone. I'm not the. Lisa, please. I can say so. I'm, a, I'm an American citizen. Wow. Lisa, please. No. She, she don't want me to talk about I'm, I'm going to talk about Ukraine. And then I'm going to talk to you about some things about the Philippines. Okay? You need to be aware of. All right. So, first of all, look, first of all, let me go back to what we talked about on the last live stream, during your Let's get that real quick, and then we'll go forward. Okay. And remember now, this is, I, this is not what I plan for today, but I can do things plan and unplan because I'm instant in season and out of season. That's what the Bible says. You got to be ready for anything and anybody. You know? And that's where I flow. One plan A don't work. You got to plan B, C, D, E, Z, all down to Z, baby. Nothing will stop this show. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, that's how I flow. <laughs> I run. All right. So uh, this is what we talked about on the last live stream. We talked about this right here, right here. Lowest flash, baby. I hooked you up real good. I gave you, I gave you some information for those of you that are trying to plan your trip to get to the Philippines. I gave you some real good information on one company that you can check with that they guarantee you. They absolutely, they guarantee to you the lowest price, okay? They, they guarantee to you the lowest ticket price, air flights. So you, you will be... It would be to your advantage, it would be to your betterment to, to check with them at least uh, compare your prices to whomever you whomever else you're trying to look for the prices with. Okay. And so on the next live stream, I'm going to also take it another step further. I'm going to show you how we can actually get the lowest, some of the lowest prices. And I'm going to walk you through it. If my stream uh, works fine, I'm going to walk you through it on a step by step basis. So you can do what I you can do what I do because I can see what you see. Yeah. And so we're gonna work that thing out. I want you to be ready. Uh you don't need nobody. You can do it. You know why you do that. You open the door, they try to do it. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some information. If I can do the thing I think tomorrow. Uh, if that don't work, that, if that doesn't work out, I'll have another 
back to you when I get here. I'm gonna use my old phone so I get my new phone too. Alright, so that's what I'm talking about. I do uh, if you don't know the chance of the previous video last week, let's go, we look at the lowest prices in the Philippines. Not yet, the day before yet, excuse me. We looked at the lowest prices, flights and flights in the Philippines, and uh, I gave you some information. If you go to the description of that video, you find in the description the company name and the website to go to check out the lowest prices you can get, okay? Uh, when we checked it out yesterday, they offered a trip, a round trip ticket for 695. You hear me? I'm gonna say this again. 695 wanna make you feel up and alive. Yeah, that'll make you wanna holler for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, man, six hundred and ninety-five dollars. That was the lowest price they could offer you. Round trip ticket. Okay. It's a very good company. They've been in business since 2001. ASAP ticket. Dot com. Check them out. And I don't get paid for this. I've just been using the company for a long time. And I don't mind. Uh, I like to share what's been good for me because it might just be good for you. And if I, you know what I'm saying? You good? You good? Hey, let's go. All right. So uh, we're going to talk about Ukraine just a minute. And I'm not going to say anything incriminating because this is going to keep pissing me. <laughs> she, excuse my language. She having a little fit over there. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say that I'm just going to say we are in the midst of a aggressive nation taking over a smaller nation and bullies have to be put in their place that's what has to be done and so i i i understand that there's only certain things you can do with an aggressive country such as russia but something has to be done so biden has put in place some sanctions some of the harshest sanctions that have ever been put in place and they didn't remember, as you recall, Russia invaded Crimea and took it over back in 2014. And nobody did nothing. They, Russia didn't even have to, have to make one shot. They just went in and took it over. And, and at that time, if you recall, Ukraine did not have any armed forces. So they couldn't fight back. All of this said, please, please don't take my property. So, and then they took it. Okay? So this time, Russia tried to do even worse. They want to take two other regions and they want to try to get to capital key and take out the government uh so whenever you go when you allow somebody to do something that's wrong and they successfully do it they'll try to get so you have to make a fight so this time ukraine is fighting they're fighting back they have some casualties so has russia but they have they have to take a stand you can't let anybody come in and take over your country without a fight. Okay, it has to be done. Okay, because because if they allow them to do, if you allow them to do this, then next thing you know they'll be going to Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, all the other uh, former Soviets or former USSR. Remember, it was called the USSR, United Soviet uh, Soviet Republic, Socialist Republic. That was broken up about 30 years ago, and that's how Ukraine became a, a sovereign nation. And they were given their freedom away uh, from Russia. Russia is trying to bring back the imperialistic times that they, they were living in. They remember, Russia was king for a while, long time. You know? all, of, uh, all of those uh, people they had over them, they called them czars at the time. They were they was top dog. You know? so, uh, Putin wants to bring that back. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about me. And so he's, ta he's taking over other smaller, he's beginning to invade Ukraine again. And this time he wants a bigger piece of the pie. He wants a bigger slice of the country. So this is totally wrong. It is against international law. Every country that is in the internet, in the NATO, is telling them that's wrong. And Putin is a part of NATO. They have a representative there as well. They know they're not. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They could give a flip. They don't give a flip. Huh? So it's up to the world to let them know you're wrong. And it's up to the world to bring it to the attention that because you're wrong, we're going to alienate you. They won't. What's going to happen to Russia? They may be wind up being like North Korea. North Korea is a pariah country, and they're an outcast. Nobody deals with them because they're crazy. 
They got crazy, and they don't let nobody in the country except for Okay. Uh, let me, I don't like that. But anyway, uh, they might wind up being like North Korea, North Korea, Korea, isolated from the world and you know, trying to be above everybody else. But the only difference between them uh, and uh, North Korea is that they have already made a lot of business deals. They have the Nord, Nord Stream 2 that leads the pipeline, gas pipeline that comes through the ocean and goes to Germany. Germany stopped that pipeline, just stopped the certification of the pipeline. So that's going to hurt their pockets. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's sad why one person, one man, want to hurt the entire country just to get some land. That doesn't make sense. What are you doing? And then he's, people are not, people are, you know, he's hurting people's lives out there. So that's all I'm going to say about that. This is, and crazy over because I'm talking about Ukraine. But you, you need to know, that's a part of the world news. That's a part of the flow. Some of you so busy, you don't know what's going on. You may have to have another TV. I'm, I'm a light you. I'm going to tell you what's happening. That's what's happening. Ukraine is being invaded. And it's not an easy thing to be invaded. If they did do it in Ukraine, guess who's going to be next? Might be next. Guess who, guess who might be next? Hong Kong. I mean, not Hong Kong. Taiwan. 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 China might get some ideas. You know what I'm saying? And then, guess who might be next after Taiwan? <laughs> so you gotta stop this, man. You can't let a larger country just take over a smaller country without a fight and without letting them know it's wrong. The world has to come. The world has the world has to come to the rescue of this tiny nation, the sovereign nation. Okay? Ukraine is about the size of Texas. And Russia is twice the size of Ukraine. But Ukraine is the second largest com- country in that European realm over there, near, near Russia. So uh, Belarus and all those others are smaller. Estonia, all of those are smaller, part of the European, uh, European Union. So that's where we have with that. That's, that's my opinion. You see how I feel about it. And you should have similar feelings. You live in a democracy. Most of you live in a democracy, land of the free, home of the brave. You live in the West. So it's foreign to our nature to see Another country just take over another country with, with for no reason. Ukraine never did anything to uh, fight them. To 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 uh, they were they didn't think they were not combative to them. They just said we're gonna take y'all over. Oh, man, that's like somebody. I remember when, when I was a kid, man, and the kid, and the people used to come. I had I had buddies. I told y'all about the Lemon Brothers, right? The Lemon Brothers. I ain't gonna go over the beach story, but. The lemon, I had people try to take my lunch money, man. Yeah, bullets. You know what I used to do? I wasn't, I wasn't big in hand. It was always bigger than me. You know what I did? Sometimes I would just, bam, and run. And then sometimes I ain't give you nothing, and I get beat down. You know? That's the way they got to do. They got to, they may have, they may, they not going have a big army, right? But they got something, right? They got to stand. They got to take a stand. They may get beat down, but the world going to know what, how they were done, right? And that's what needs to happen, it needs to be recorded, is for, for humanity to see how a larger country can be, be so inhumane to envelop and take over a smaller country for no uh, earthly reason other than they want to be a superpower again. Remember when they, 30 years ago they, they broke up the Soviet Union, the USSR, and they became a smaller power. They weren't as powerful as they were. Okay? And so when you deal with a nation that always cheats, uh, like they cheated in the Olympics recently, and they've been cheating in the Olympics for years and years, when you deal with a nation, uh, things start from the top down. You know, the mentality of a cheater, the mentality of a crook, the mentality of a strong arm, the mentality of a bully comes from the top down. So we deal with a nation that has a cool mentality, they care, they care. They have no empathy. They have no sympathy. And so the world is seeing what's happening. I want you to be aware of it. And I want you to be praying for the people of Ukraine. Uh, they didn't ask for this. It was placed upon them. But they're going to fight. I heard the president say, we're going to fight. We're not going to give up. We're going to fight. And so I'm with them. I stand with Ukraine. I hope some of you have that same mentality and same attitude that I have. Stand with for right. Stand for righteousness. Stand for the right and not for the ball. 
and stand for the law, okay? I'm standing with Ukraine, and you be in prayer for that people, that country, that nation, that sovereign nation, that they can pull through this and come through strong and be better than before. Uh, you know, they say that only the strong survive, so if they survive, if they survive this invasion, they're going to be stronger than before. Uh, so pray for that nation. That's all I have to say on that. So let's talk about the Philippines. Uh, a lot of things going on, guys. Uh, you, 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 if you, if you don't know, the doors of the church in the Philippines is now open. You can come on with your king. Come on, come on. Just make sure you got your vaccine, okay? Make sure you're fully vaccinated. You don't need no one shot unless you're doing a Johnson Johnson. But uh, if you don't, if you're doing anything other than Johnson, you need two shots. You don't have. They're not requiring you to have the third to jab yet. The booster. They may, that may come in the future. But for right now, you need to be fully vaccinated. They say to just, they just uh, define fully vaccinated as having two shots. And if you're taking the Johnson Johnson, that would be one shot fully vaccinated. Okay. So come on, bring yourself, bring your, bring your, bring your, uh, bring your, uh, all your, all your goodies, everything you want to bring, you lay your presents, stuff like that. Be prepared and to have a good time. And don't be crying about it. I don't want They say, if you don't do this, you just don't. Come over here like that. I'm going to act like you got some sense. <laughs> yeah, act like you, you know. I'm just telling them, man. You know, when you remember when we was kids, right? Your mama, your mama would take you somewhere, and she, before y'all leave the house, what would she say? What would she say? She would get you, and she said, come here, John. You said, yeah, man. She said, we going over Mary's house, and then you better act like you got some sense. <laughs> and you better act like you was raised right, okay? If you don't, I'll get you. <laughs> we get back home. Yeah, man. And when we go over to Mary's, Miss Mary's house, she don't say nothing. <laughs> she sits up in the corner like, okay, mama, hey, mama, hey, mama. Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen if you act a fool. Same thing. When you, when you come to the Philippines, act like you got some sense. Do your homework. Do your research about the country. Do your research about the, the, the monetary system. Do your research about the economy. Do your research about the language, the cultural aspects of this country, and do do all of that and get some understanding about what you're getting into. You've had two years to look and find out things about this country that would benefit you when you step in over into the border of this country. So if you have not, then do it now. Start now where you are. It's always time. Not right now is the best time to start anything in your life to make a change. It's right now. Do that thing. And then when you get here, you'll be better off for it. You have more knowledge. You'll be more relaxed. You'll be more calm because you have an understanding of what, how people behave here and what they expect of foreigners. One of the things people don't like here when you come to this country is if you uh, stare at them, especially women. It's offensive. They find it highly offensive, especially when a foreigner. You know, if, a, if, a, if a Filipino man stares at a woman, yeah, they hate that. They hate that. But especially with a foreigner does it, so don't come up here staring at these women. If you got to get you some sunshine, get you some sunshine. <laughs> get you some that. Don't come up here staring. Be, 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 uh, be right tight long time. Don't be uh, 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 obnoxious. Don't be rude. That's one of the things they don't like. Another thing they don't like I hear from foreign people is when you come, you talking loud, saying nothing. Hey, hey, hey. They'll run from you, but they don't like loud talk with you. And, and the strange thing about it, my guys, they don't like the people talking loud, foreign talking loud to them, right? But take it out. <laughs> These are some loud people. And you hear music all day and all night. And you tell me, okay, you better get used to it. If you don't like a lot of noise like me, you better get used to it. Get you some air cover put in your ears. <laughs> Depending on where you go. You will hear karaoke a lot, okay? So get used to the, get used to the culture. The dogs bark all day and all night. I still that's one of my pet peeves. I've been here almost eight years, and that's still one of my pet peeves to this day. Barking dogs. I don't like barking dogs all day. Number one, because it interferes with my work. I sit in and have to edit, do my work, and do my videos up. Dog, dog barking, I can stop. I can't have that noise in my video. I can stop, you know? So barking dogs is a pet, but they have it. It's all day long, and then chickens too, all day. You think chickens just do that early in the morning, get you up? Nah. <laughs> 
It's 24 7. Up to the all time of day. Now, they just do it more in the morning when you get up. But it's all day and all night. Chick, I'm used to the chick. I can deal with that. But the cats and dogs, all night long. Lisa D is used to it because that's what she, she was raised in this country. You know, but when you come out of it, that's going to be probably be, if you live in a hotel, if you're, if you're staying in a hotel, you're probably going to be right. You're not going to hear a lot of that corner where your hotel you're at. But if you're, you're staying in a, in a uh, Airbnb house a lot, or if you're staying with your fiance or your girlfriend or whatever, get ready, get ready, get ready. And if you are coming out and staying with your girlfriend or your fiance or your wife, don't complain about the, how their facilities, their home. Okay, they may not be like the USA. They may not have uh, the finest carpet because most most of the people out there don't have no carpet. They have tile. That's one big distinction between the USA and the Philippines. The Philippines, when they come in apart in our house, there's no carpet. They don't have, they don't pay the carpet thing out here. Usually, you have tile or you have hardwood floors. That's it. They don't have carpet out here. Now, when you see a carpet. It's a row, throw row. They have a lot of throw ropes, stuff like that. And when you come in your house, guys, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you take your shoes off. It is disrespectful for you to enter into a house of a Filipino and you do not take your shoes off, okay? That's disrespectful. And they might tell you, you can't come in my house like that, sir. And so don't start off the wrong way. Start off the right way. That's it all times together. I just told you the initial part of this conversation is that you should do what? Your homework. And that part of your homework is do what? Understanding, reading about the culture, the moral values of the people, how the people behave, and how you can be receptive, and how they will be receptive to more receptive to you when you understand and embrace their values. Now, one of the things you'll find out when you do come to the Philippines, they, you, they will want you to embrace their values, and they want you to know about their culture, but they don't care. Flip about you. <laughs> They don't care. They don't care about nobody else's culture but their culture. And I find that very sad. You know, they want you to understand their culture. And if you violate some, if you violate some of their cultural morals, mores, and values, they will let you know. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. But they violate yours all the time. They can kid up. So a lot of times you'll find that the self nature of a Filipino, that's another thing of a characteristic of Filipino. Many Filipinos are very, very selfish in nature. What you mean? What you mean, say? I think what you mean? They're selfish. No, they're selfish. They're about themselves. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. A lot of times we we'll be out here we'll be at our home, right? And so you know, kids they play all day. I don't mind. You know, kids play. You know what? During the day it's fine, right? But nine, ten, eleven o'clock at night, those kids they start playing at three in the afternoon. And nine, ten, and them, it's like, look, man. And they make all kind of noise. And if you say something to them, they want to pitch your fit. <laughs> so, that, but it's about being respectful. And when somebody's not respectful to you, it's because they are selfish. They want to please themselves and they don't even flip about nobody else. And that right. But yeah, that's the way it is. You'll find a lot of stuff like that. Some of the things you find about the Filipinos are very, very similar to what you will find in the USA and other countries. But there's going to be a lot of different, various discrepancies and differences. And you have to deal with what we call cultural differences. It's very important. I, I, there's some of the things I've adjusted to, and there's some of the things I, ne I would never adjust to. I just deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis because I love Lisa D so much. I want to live with her, and she don't want to go to the United States with a dog on there. And I don't blame her. <laughs> Peter Gallery ain't saying nothing. Like he and Gallery is uh, eating a breakfast. But yeah, uh, you got to understand the moral values of the country. It will assist you in your when you arrive here and you'll know what to expect, what to look out for. Another thing that people don't like out here, when you come, if you put your hand on your hip and you're talking to somebody, that's offensive to you. Don't, you know, ladies will put their hand on their hip and say, you know what I mean? don't do that. They don't like that. Okay? That's very, very offensive. Another thing is that when you come out here and you deal with the ladies, be respectful, call them miss, ma'am, always have some type of courtesy and respect about whoever you're talking to. If you're talking to a man, it's cool, yeah, okay? If you're talking to an older lady or mature lady, I take it, I take it. Or you can say yes, ma'am, or yes, miss. But do we speak to them in a respectful, 
a polite tone. Don't be loud. And for God's sake, don't be rude. Don't come out here and cuss nobody out, okay? Because as soon as you leave your hotel one day, you might just be the last time you leave your hotel. I'm serious. People out here take offense to little, small things that people in America would think nothing of. Okay? That's how very, very sensitive these people are. And you know, you know, you know, some people you just got to deal with. They don't. You know, the little things get ticked these people off. You know? And Lord, and I tell y'all about Filipino time. Whenever you have to meet somebody out here, allow at least an hour and a half. Because if they tell you they're going to meet you at 4 o'clock, they'll be there at 5.30. <laughs> That's just the way it is. That's part of the cultural mores, cultural values, cultural differences that you will find here. In no, that there's exceptions to the rules because all of them are not like that. There's some that are on time. But for the majority of people that I've dealt with here, most of them, some of them are on time, but most of them are not. You know, their own time is not a big deal. Because this is a laid back country, people come out, and that's another thing. When you do come out here, make sure you bring the appropriate clothing. You don't want to come out here with long, all long, you got 15 long t shirts, nothing short. See what I got on right here? This is appropriate. You know why? Because it's hot out here. I like snot. And this is the summertime coming up pretty soon. And so you really want to dress appropriately, relax, uh, shirts like this, you know, or you might have a golf shirt, you want to be a little bit more conservative. If you want to wear shorts, that's fine. You know, jeans is always appropriate. Sneakers, or you want to wear sandals. Yeah, I wear sandals a lot. And I wear tennis shoes a lot. I, well, I used to. You know, before I got here, I used to wear tennis shoes all the time. You said, but when I got here, nah. so people, I wear sandals or I wear my uh, uh, what do you call them shoes? I wear sketches. I like sketches because they're comfortable on my feet. But the main thing is when you come here, bring clothing. That's going to be relaxing for you. And don't bring 15 pairs of pants and 24 pairs of shoes. You don't need all of that. Bring me about two or three pairs of pants and two or three pairs of shoes. That's all you need, man. Because you can be like, yeah. huh? You bring two or three and then they stay in here. Don't you want to get them? Because it's hard to find your size on the human. Listen, let me tell you, listen to me. I'm telling you. This, is a, this, this information is coming to you from a man that made 15, about, what, 14 trips over here, back and forth to see these indeed, sometimes once, twice, two times a year. Don't bring a lot of stuff over here. Don't pack your bag like you, you can't, you got to sit on it and pack it. Guys, pack your whole house. <laughs> no, you keep playing with that. He said, pack your whole No, don't pack your bags till you got to sit on it and close it. Don't do all that. Bring you about two or three, what, about like three, four pairs of pants, three, four pairs of shirts. Uh, short sleeve shirt. Maybe I have one long sleeve and get cool. It does get a little cooler out here at night. You plan to go out at night. Maybe a little cooler, a little breeze. You want to need a little short shirt, long t shirt. And uh and some slacks and jeans or shorts. Whatever you're comfortable with. But don't bring a lot of this out of for two reasons. Number one, you you go you're gonna need to have some room in your bag so that when you do come back, because you're gonna buy a kiss, right? Huh? You gonna buy some for your mom? You gonna buy some for your daddy? Your sister, huh? You gonna buy something for your side chick? Nah, <laughs> you gonna buy something for them, right? You gonna bring back some souvenirs, right? So, travel light. We need space in there to bring back those souvenirs, right? Or unless you have to buy another bag. That's more expensive. So, travel light. If you're gonna be here two weeks, that's the most of you guys coming out here will be here about two weeks. Sometimes you'll do three. But if you come, try to get three weeks, three to four weeks. That's when you know you have a good time. You'll know the culture and value. But if you can only do two weeks, it's tough. But you'll be okay. But just follow follow what I'm telling you. But if you come here for two weeks, you got two weeks day. Uh, here's number one, bring your laptop. If you don't have a laptop, get a laptop. Okay? Because you want to communicate back to your people wherever you came from. And the beach. here for this pandemic, they have to stay. I mean, they have to stay here longer than because what if they, have, they, won't get, they won't get cards? They're not going to get cards. She, 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 she ain't following him. Anyway, they're not going to get cards. For those of you that, that are, there's no cards if you have two shots. Okay? If they're positive. I, I'm talking about if they're not. I'm, I'm, I'm talking Okay, Lisi. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> She's just a mess with me. All right. But yeah, uh, I forgot what I'm saying. Lisi, not a mess with me. Um, but yeah, you you want to you want to have at least 
if you come here for two weeks, right? And you're gonna have, you're gonna meet with your girlfriend, you're gonna go out, right? And, and some of y'all might be going to like a hole or whatever, take your girlfriend for a little, little two, three day vacation. You need about three, four pair of pants, three, four pair of shirts. That's it. Okay? And you know you're gonna bring it. And let your girlfriend wash your clothes. Yeah, you wash your own clothes. Uh, but yeah, and if you need more, you need to wash your clothes, man. Get go take it to them. They got cleaners out here, laundry man. Just go watch it if you need more, more than that. Don't buy it. Don't bring a whole bunch of stuff out here. Because you're going to regret that you did. Because you're going to carry stuff back with you. Okay? And so don't bring a whole lot of stuff out here. It's not necessary. The other reason why you don't want to bring a whole lot of stuff out here is because when you come in the airport, you're going to do what? They're going to do what to your bags? Weigh your bags. Okay? And so if you're overweight, over the airline, a lot of weight for your baggage, you will pay for that overweight. Okay? You will pay for that. And it costs one time, one time. So one time when I came here, I forgot to weigh my bag. And when I got to the airport, I was way overweight. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't want to pay. So you know what I had to do? I had to, I had to go on that bag and start stripping stuff out. Just throwing away. Strip, strip. I had a lot of good shirts, shoes and stuff. I just I had to pull it out until I got down to the right weight. Because I didn't want to pay. I didn't want to pay for the overweight. So uh, be, be just be diligent about what you're doing, what you're planning, what your plans are, and be uh, strategic about what you're doing. And because you're coming to a place that's not uh, like the USA, it's a little bit more, more, much, much more laid back and relaxed here. And so you want to, don't come here so rigid, but you just, you don't want to get, you won't have a good time. You got to relax. And that's one thing that I find that most Westerners, including yours truly, have a hard time. I had a hard time relaxing when I got here. So this he had to soften me up, he had to loosen me up. He said, What is wrong with you? I said, I'm all right. He said, No, you tense. I said, I'm okay. I was I was used to always doing something, going someplace, you know, let's go, we got to. When I got here, I didn't know how to settle down. I didn't know how to slow down. So I had somebody help me slow down. And now I'm sort of still, I'm relaxed, but every time, every now and then, when I got stuff to do for the channel, whatever, I get a little keyed up and she be just, she's reminding me, you don't need to be getting like that. Bring yourself down to the ground. You know? So all those things I told you, all those things are helpful for you. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, but the main thing is be ready like Freddie when you come here. And if those of you that are coming to Manila, ain't no thrill. Okay? Ain't no thrill in Manila. I always tell people, if you don't have to go to Manila, don't go to Manila. If you have to come to Cebu, try to get a flight straight into Cebu if you can. If you come to any, any place else, try to get the vibe, whatever, try to get a flight. You usually can't get a flight straight to the vibe, whatever. But try to avoid Manila because it's a lot a lot of problems there where people will try to rip you off and tell you stuff that you ain't got no business doing. I can tell you some stories I went through. I would tell you some stories I went through, man. But uh, I hope y'all don't get it messed up like I did. I almost got messed up, but I got out of it. Let's go. Ah, I wasn't me. I take a sip. But yeah, that's what you need to know about the Philippines, things you need to know. And uh, always be ready. And, and, and guys, make sure you come with an open mind, okay? Don't come with a closed mind, because you, if you come with a closed mind, you will not have a good time. And that rhyme. You will not have a good, open your mind that you want to see how other people live. You want to see how the other side does things, okay? Because it's not, a, they don't do everything like the USA does, okay? And so don't come so, don't, don't be so keyed up and don't be so closed-minded to, what, what, what is he doing? And the guy peeing on me, what is he doing? What, what's wrong? Don't do it. You see something you don't like, keep your mouth shut and keep it moving, okay? Because if you mess with somebody, <laughs> You say the wrong thing, you're going to be in some trouble. All right, that's it, man. I just wanted to bring that to you. And uh, I'm going to go ride the train a little bit. See you uh, ride the train by the easy one day. You want love. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm about keeping up with my people and reaching out and teaching out with my people. You know what I'm saying? If y'all see me, I'm going to be on stream out again tomorrow. If y'all don't see me on stream, I'll be on a hell hand hell uh, on my, my phone, and I'll be in the BTC. Bonnie Lot Town Center. Because they're making a, you know, they gotta cut the tops, right? 
and they done eh, make a lot of noise. So they if they if I'm making too much noise, they make too much noise, I beat it up, baby. Alright. You ready to see? Get ready. What is the train is coming? Don't need no ticket. Ah, you just get on. All you need is love. Woo, say it again. Say sweet, sweet love. Don't need, don't need no ticket. Alisa. <laughs> Alisa. You just get on. Get on. Ah, you're ready to ride train by the easy one nation on the one love. Hey, man, I'm ready, man. You're ready like Fred all night. You know what I'm saying? I like to talk to my people, I like to walk with my people, I like to eat with you, and I like to be with you. I hope you like the same for me. Let's go! I'm finding out who I'm talking about, 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 I'm I ain't playing with y'all. I ain't playing with y'all. Let's go. I'm going to find out who love them. Talk about them. Leave them in there. Who that? Who that say they're going to beat them? Who that? Who that? Who that? We that say we're going to beat them. Who, <laughs> Lord, the Saints talk the Falcons up. Talk the Falcons this year. But that's all right. I'm going to get them back next year. That's one of the best rivalries in the NFL. Saints and the Falcons. I remember back in the day, man, I used to go to. You know, they have the bus trips in the games. When we, when we, uh, once the Falcons play, we, we, uh, they have a chartered bus. Everybody get on the bus, we go down to New Orleans. And, uh, this, it'd be some fun time. It'd be fun. You have fun all the way down there on the bus, talking chat, whatever. Then you go to the game, and if we do, we in trouble. We trying to run out there. <laughs> we, we, we have a good time smacking, talking with them people. But yeah, let's bring back some memories, man. All right, we're going to find out who else I'm talking about. Before that, in the hip hop, who that said he gonna beat them? So I need to know. Look at him, look at him. Wow, come on, Karen, look at him. Rain man coming, rain man coming, rain man, rain man, rain man. Rain man, rain man, rain man. What's up, rain man? You good? You good? Man? Thank you so much for the donation to the nation. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much, my brother. Hey, I can't do a dance. I can't do a dance for you. If I do a dance, it's my job. Okay, so good to see you, Terry. Uh, thank you so much for the donation to the nation. All right, who got right train Bobby Meezy One Nation? Karen, come to see him about it. Queen Asian, Elizabeth. What's up, Karen? What's up, Karen? What's up, Karen? What's up, Karen? She did the queen wave. She did. What's <laughs> up? Hey, man, we doing good, Karen. We're good to see right train Bobby Meezy One Nation. We got John Thomas. Go yeah. bullet in the house. Go bullet in the house. Go bullet. Go bullet. Go bullet. Go bullet, go bullet in the house. What's up, JT in the house? What's up, JT? Go Come on to you, JT. What's up, man? You good? John Thomas is the golden bullet up in this place, man. He's the second gold member we ever had. That's history, man. He making history on the check. That's what I want around me. I like people that want to get some history. They don't want no mystery. They want to get make some history. Now I like people like that around me, okay? Because that's when I get around you, we want to make some history. <laughs> we ain't making no mystery. So good to see you, John. Ride train by the DC. Hey, DC, what you got to tell John? <laughs> Number two, John. Two. <laughs> Love you, John. Ride train by the DC. Who we got? Boo, Sam. What's up, Spoon? You good, man? So good to say yes. something. Say something like, Swear to you. What's up, man? He said, Number two. He said, He yeah. Bobby. He 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 got tongue tied in there, y'all. Uh, what's up, man? He said, Boom says it. Mr. Bobby, how is it? How is rent normally paid in the business? Good question, sir. Uh, when you pay rent, if you have an apartment or you've got a room or condo or Airbnb, or whatever you're renting, you will be required okay, to have canceled checks. Not canceled, but given deposit checks. You get pre written checks. So when we when I went there, we went there, when they I we finished Oh, stay check. I'm sorry for trying to say thank you so much. Appreciate that, my dear. Thank you. He took the word right out of my mouth. You gotta have post day check. So when you come here, we rented a place at uh 108. It was a condominium. I had to I rented it for a year. I had to give her three 
you have to pay three months deposit. Sometimes some of them offer you two months, they give you two months, some of them three. You see me that pay three months deposit. But if you get this, then you get, if you get, you bargain it down to two months deposit. And then you have to one month advance, and then they have to be in post dated checks. Okay? So whatever, if you will stay in six months, you got to give her six checks, post dated checks, for each one of those months. When she has to deposit, each month she's going to deposit in the bank. And if it don't come up, you're in trouble. <laughs> you'll get your money. But yeah, that's how they do it out here. That's how they pay rent uh, for Florence. Now, for locals, is it the same way for locals? Uh, I think one month to no, I'm talking about how they pay rent. Yes. Or cash. Uh, cash every month. Okay. So how they do it for the local people, the natives here, Filipinos, they don't give them deposits because most Filipinos, to be honest with you, don't have checking accounts. So they have they make them get pay cash every month. But if you're a foreigner coming out here to rent, you're gonna have to most of the time they see foreigner, they know it's good money and guaranteed money. So that's why they stick it to you. They make you give two to three months deposit up front, and then they make you give post daily check. So if you're coming here to live long term, ladies and gentlemen, you need to get your checking account. Okay. Now, what if, what happens is if you just come, she won't play today. What happens if you just come out here and you don't have a checking account? They will take your cash. Okay. But they'll say, you, sir, you have to get a checking account for the rest of your payments. So that means. You had to get a check. When I first came out here, I didn't have a check account. <clears throat> so what I did, we had a friend. He knew somebody in the bank, and a small, it was a small bank, and he got them to give me a check account because in order to get a checking account in here now, you have to have an ACR I card. I didn't have an ACR I card out there when I first came. So he he knew somebody that knew somebody that hooked me up. Okay, so that's another way you can get to get around out here. Out here, man, it's not what you know. They will find out who you know out here. It's not what you know out here. It's who you know. And if you know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, you can get mad. Let's go, Rock Chain, Bobby Lee, Z1 Nation. Who we got? Oh, I'm sorry. I did the wrong one. <laughs> Move aside and say, uh, okay, I got that one. What's up, SML? He said, peace, love, Chain. Good to see you, SML. You all right, man? What's up, peace and love to you, my brother, my mother. Mother! SML in the house, he ain't playing, he ain't playing, he on a train today, he on a train today, don't want to go to Spain today, let's go right there, who we got? Who's that? He said, who got to the film? Like you ready me. to Ukraine. <laughs> no, you don't want to go to Ukraine right now, but hey, even if you try to go to Ukraine, they got all the airplanes canceled, there's no flight to Ukraine, you know why? Because they oh. might get shot down, there's no, the airspace over Ukraine there's no flights allowed, none, commercial or private, nothing, because it's a war over there right now, and we don't know what's going to happen, so they don't want to get any unnecessary casualties. All right, Ryan, Bobby, Nisi, One Nation, who we got? Murphy, hey, what's up, Murphy? Got it, 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 got got Say it, huh? What's up? That ain't that how you say hello, family. What's up, man? Good to see you. all my people in the house. Said, Hoo, bruh. All my angels in the house. Said, hey, man. All my members in the house. Said, <laughs> What's up? Good to see you, man. Everybody hit the like button. One, one, two, one, two, three. Chichi fire. One, two, three. Chichi fire. Hit that like button, man. Come on, man. It's gonna take but a few seconds. That's all you got. Let's go, Rock Chain, Bobby. I love like that. Okay, sure. Like that. Okay. Hit the like button, y'all. Thumbs up. That's the thank you. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone, DJ. Y'all ain't messing with me. All right, let's go. Uh, Murphy said hello, Terry. Spoon and John. Yes, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, nature is calling on me. Let's see. You gotta talk to people that get that. I gotta go to the restroom. Drinking <laughs> coffee. What's up, guys? I have to fix myself first. I don't have any makeup, my dear. Okay, let's go. Marpe, hey, she said. Hello, Bobby, what's up? Bobby, hurry up. I'm going to rest with you. I can't hurry up, thank you. You 
can talk while you're in the restroom. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Margaret Hayes got it. He said, if we wasn't too far, we would be trying to take over the USA also. You answer it, my dear. If we wasn't too far, we would too. Farley would be trying to take over the USA also. They're talking about yeah. Ukraine. Oh, yes, yeah, I get that. Stay right there. Tell me, what do you think about Ukraine? I'm not, I, <laughs> I don't have, <laughs> huh? I don't want to say anything. You think it's right? Wrong, boy. <laughs> Just like what you said, you're I don't see it. <laughs> What's wrong about it, Steve? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel better now. All right, I had to do a little help with the other y'all. I found one. Ah, okay. Murray says, if we wasn't too far, yeah, they, they're trying to take us out too, man. You know what? Uh, now, they have some of the modernized weaponry. weaponry. They can actually... Uh, pinpoint us and get us, get us, you know, have a weapon to come off the ballistic missile to come all the way from over there. Some of, some people say they can hit us with a supersonic, and some of them say they don't have it to that degree yet. They haven't advanced it to that far yet, but we don't know right now. We used to be where we would have to go off, travel all the way over here to fight them, or they would have to travel over here to fight us. That's over with. Them days gone. They got to leave their house. They just push a button. You know? So, Everything has changed with technology, but everything sometimes stays the same with technology. And the reason I'm saying that is, you, you recall in the old Cold War, Russia was an imperialistic nation, okay? Just like the who else was, who else, you history majors out there, who else was an imperialistic nation? I'm going to give you two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Yeah, the United States of America. Imperialism, what you mean imperialism? That means they wanted to dominate everybody. Huh? Yeah, they want, that, that's, why we, that's why me and you with this melanin in our skin, that's why we got over. They wanted to dominate, especially us black folks. And they did it for a long time. Over 300 years, they dominated us, made us slaves. Okay, so imperialistic nations, it's time out for them. We don't want to go backwards in time, Mr. Putin. We need to move forward and let everybody enjoy their life in freedom. Nobody wants to be in a dictator type of country because you have no rights for what the states say rights you got. Okay? So we want to move forward and not backwards. That's like the United States going back to the Philippines said, you used to be ours. I want you back. No. Philippines will fight like age did not come back on the you know? And so and Ukraine is doing the same thing. They have their own sovereignty and they need to be respected. Yeah, they will try to take us out too. Ron James Bobby Lee one who we got. What's up, man? Said, what's good, Murphy? You good, man? So I'm going to say, Gunny, you got in there, how I got in there, how? Woo, what's up, man? Right, Jane, Bobby, Daisy, what? Yeah, but everybody's getting ready to come to the Philippines. You know what? These guys have been uh, missing. They've been missing that special lady for a long time, almost two years, man. They want to get up close and personal. <laughs> and they want to have some fun, you know, other than touching the screen like this. They want to touch them. They want to reach out and touch, you know, somebody. You know what? You're right. I'm very easy. Uh, I'm great as well. I hope you are as well. Brian J. Bobby DC One Nation. Very easy. He said, just finished up the project here. Okay. Okay. I hope it's a good project. And uh, it's beneficial. Projects, uh, we got a project here. We got, uh, we got, we got the guys outside working, get the tile down. I told y'all, tiles are big out here for garage. I don't know why. I never, I've had a lot, I, like, I bought a lot of houses. I've never had a garage tile yet, you know? Never had, I've never even had my garage painted. You know, you're gonna say a lot of people paint their garage floor. I've never painted one, so it wasn't a big deal to me. But her, we gotta get him. Everybody around here got, most of the people around here got the garage tile. It's a big thing out there. Let's go around to everybody DC One Nation. We got Burby Hayes, he said, no, the Greeks, <laughs> the Greeks don't like you staring and hitting in the women. Did not yet. Okay, I didn't know that. I've never been to Greeks, so they don't like it either. Huh? Okay. Yeah, man, they don't like that. Lisa, you don't like that. She don't like nobody staring at her. 
What's his problem? That's the thing. Let's go, please. Let's <laughs> get these people on. Let me ask you a question. Why don't you like people staring at you? Man, how does it make you feel when a man stares at you? It feels like um, something's wrong with me, or I have uh, dirt on my face, or, or something like that. <laughs> or, or they might like me. <laughs> I'll tell you how I would feel. If I was a Filipina and I had an Americano or a foreign man looking at me, I said, you ain't going to get none of this. <laughs> I said, you want to play? You got to play. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around to everybody who we got. Murray, the year, congratulations to Terry. Terry, number one, he did it right time long. He kicked the sum of my mind in the day. He said, I ain't playing. I got my, I got my mom there and don't mess with me. <laughs> he got his first shot and he went get the second in about three or four weeks. He'd be hitting that second shot and he'd be making his way out here, man. Go on, go on, do the thing right there, Lord. Go. Round chain body, who we got? Mervyn Hayes, I'm doing 30 days. Doing 30 days. Oh, I'm coming in here. Okay. Oh, you're going to be in 30 days. Okay. That's it, man. That's it. That's the way you do it. You got to be one, one month will give you a good, Solid trip. Okay. Yeah. You will get to see what the things you some things you will never even thought about. You get to see the little stuff. The little stuff that you would never even think about. You'll see because you have enough time to look. They say stop and smell the roses. You have time to stop and smell the roses and the pop. You know what I'm saying? And you have time to mix and mingle with your lady, your ladies' people, community, if you want to, or if you not, you just chill, bro. Enjoy your life. That's what uh, doing the travel is all about learning the other side. And just don't stay in the room. Get out every day. You get to go get your cup of coffee. Get out. Get out the room. Get, get your cup of coffee. Get your lunch. Just chill, man. Relax. Take your take your time doing anything. And then say, decide in your mind, every day I'm gonna meet somebody new. Hey man, how you doing? My name is Mert. I'm from the United States of America. And I'm meeting new friends. So this is my first time ever here. And, and I want to know what's your name. <laughs> talk to the people. <laughs> talk to the people, and then after you get friends, you get more comfortable. If you don't talk to nobody, you gonna have a bad trip. I'm telling you, you gonna have a bad trip because you gonna you gonna stuck up, you gonna talk. Then I'm talking to you. Let's go ride to anybody that needs more nation. Who's that? He said I have six dickies. Oh, dickies out here. <laughs> Yeah, I know the Dicky clothes with the Dicky uh, brand name. He said, I have to see Dicky's out of Jeff Philip Philippines. One outfit just in case she want to go to church. <laughs> One of them. Yeah, uh, you might want to have a long pair of nice slacks, okay? Because in the evening, that's what they usually expect. If you go on to dinner in the evening, you usually want to wear a night. If you're a foreigner, they expect you to wear something like nice slacks and maybe a golf shirt if in the evening. Now, during the day, you want to relax, you want to cut off whatever, you know, short pants, whatever, jeans, sneakers. But in the evening, because it's a little bit cooler, you might want to have a long sleeve shirt or a golf shirt, right? And a nice pair of slacks and some shoes if you're going out with your lady. But you want to look nice for her. And that most people out there, when they see a foreign person and they see him dressing like a bum at night, he ain't got no money. <laughs> That's what's going to be in my hand about nothing. But if they see you dressed in your open, this sir, they will speak to you with more respect. Ron Trent, Bobby DC, One Nation, who we got? Murphy, hey, he said, that's about right, sir. Those move. Yeah, man, you know, get you some dickies, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with, man. If you if you like certain outfits or whatever, whatever makes you relax and feel good about yourself, that's what you wear. Don't care what nobody else say. Uh, no, you care what I say. If you if you if you like long sleeve shirts, and you want to be high, whatever, do it, man. You know, if that's make you, that makes you happy. You no, know, I'm just giving you general, general advice. Ron J. Bobby, who we got? Smooth, son. He said, I see you like Bernie Mac, Bobby. Don't mess with me, man. I'm talking about talking to America. <laughs> oh, he's talking about, yeah, Bernie Mac, he said, uh, America. America? <laughs> yeah, I remember that, man. I miss Bernie Mac, man. I used to like that show. And, you know, I when it first came on, I didn't watch the show. I said, so another wise guy on the show talking cracking jokes. But when I started, I, one day I watched the show. I was pleasantly surprised. 
the show has so many, many good lessons that you can learn from the show. Each episode had a lesson. You no, know? I was so proud, and I was hooked on that show after that. And I was hooked on Bernie Mac because I wasn't a big Bernie Mac fan after that. Before that, I really wasn't. I thought he was just going to talk and jive all the time. But he had a lot of good shows, a lot of good episodes. Just like uh, for those of you who are OGs out there, you remember uh, JJ, what's the name of that program? All in the, what's the, all in the family? What's the name of that shit? I know that's too long. Anyway, you remember <laughs> Dynamite, JJ, and all of them? And uh, I, I used to, I used to, I, I didn't like that show first. But I started looking to them. They had a whole bunch of good stuff that made me, that, that's one of my best old, old school shows. You know what I'm talking about? It's not all in the family. It's uh, what's the name of the show? It's they, and anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Rob Tramp, Bobby Lee, see one nice who we got. Very, very easy. I was going to just bring a backpack. Okay. That would be, that would be perfectly fine. You know, you want to just bring a backpack, uh, make sure you have all your, because that way you won't lose nothing. Your backpack will stay with you. You can take a backpack on a train and put it in the uh, overhead bin. Okay. On the train? I mean, on the plane. <laughs> on the train. Yeah, there's a limit. Yeah, seven kilos that you can do you actually have to check with the airline. Each airline has a certain limit on backpack weight and baggage weight. So just check with the airline. If you can get everything in that backpack, do it, man. What I would do, this is what I did when I went out, when I traveled here, I would take me, I would have a laptop because that's where I would communicate back and forth. Oh, back in with my laptop, email, online. How y'all do? Let me know where and then I would do, uh, so you know, some of y'all may, not, may not need a laptop. You can just use a cell phone to do the same thing you can on a laptop, okay? That would save you from having to carry another package. But me, I just like to have my laptop. I like I like to communicate on my laptop versus my cell phone, okay? Because that's just me. All right, but what I would bring is my laptop bag. I would keep that with me everywhere I went. I would bring me a backpack. I would keep that with me everywhere I went. And then I would have a a bag, a luggage bag, depending on how long I would stay. If I wasn't staying that long, like I would say 10 days, I would just have me a backpack and my my uh, computer bag. That's it. And so that I, I would find like that. So yeah, you can do that, Murphy. You can work out. You just got to travel light, pack light. You know? And if you need, if you find that you come out here and you need, you need, you need, you need more than what you thought, what you bought, then you can just buy a few things, you know? Or have your clothes washed with that. Yeah. That's the smartest thing to do. Don't pack, don't overpack your bag. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Do not overpack your bag. Now, Murphy, you stand 30 days, so I don't know. If that's... <laughs> you might have to bring a traveling bag. You might have to bring a travel bag. Yeah, because you stand 30 days now. You, <laughs> you, had to bring... you might have to bring more than that little black backpack because you might have to have a more change. So, unless you plan on buying stuff, and buying stuff out here, that's the difference. Roger and Bobby DC, One Nation, who we got? John Thomas, he said, Murphy, you came before? No, Murphy. <laughs> All right. I got to answer that question with Murphy. Now, this is his first time. He's the first time. First time. Of, he's traveling to other places in the world. He's where he's been in, in the military. He's traveling a lot. But this is the first time here coming to the Philippines. He's a newbie. And we have to break him in properly. Okay? <laughs> uh, this girlfriend going to break him in real good. <laughs> Let's go right there by these one nation. Murphy, no, so it's my first. Yes, his first time here, but he's ready. I mean, Murphy, Murphy knows about the Philippines. That's one thing I said about Murphy and most of you guys. John been a lot, you know. He's he been in several times, but most of you guys, the first time, you know, when you get here because you keep up with this show, you you will do everything out here is gonna be easy for you to deal with. You won't you won't have a whole lot of surprise. What <laughs> you want to do one of these? Because you say, okay, I remember this. You'll be calm because you know what to expect. Because I've talked about just about every subject I can think of. Let's go around track. Who we got? John, he said, Murphy, enjoy. Always hot in the day. Cool in the day. Yeah, that's right. In the early morning or evening. Massive malls in Manila. They have a huge mall. One of the largest malls in the world is in Manila. Uh, what's it called? Moa. Mall of Asia. Moa. Mall of Asia. We went to that mall. It's a big mall. You can walk for days in there. And you get lost here also in SMC. We got a mall that's, I guess, <clears throat> is this, this is large or, or bigger than I don't know. I think ours is the second largest, it's just as big as the mall. Of Asia. 
Let's go right there and buy reading you one nation under a group. What up? Reverend said, I will, I will, sir. Can't wait. Yeah, man. You'll have a good time out here. <clears throat> if you've never been out here, this is going to be an eye-opening experience for you. Because I could talk all day long about how this and how that and how that. But when you come out here and see for yourself, that's when you really learn the culture. You really learn the value of travel. Let's go. <clears throat> Smoothly, I found out about lamb there. If you want it, you have to order it from New Zealand or Australia. Okay. I don't see why you so hung up on lamb. <laughs> you dogs, y'all dogs don't know. He asked me the other day, where could he get some lamb chops? <laughs> I was like, you ain't gonna find no lamb chops out here, man. So he done found a way he had to order it. Okay. And you're gonna pay some money out here, man. Let's get that lamb chop out your mind, man. Get you some chicken. So they eat chicken, they eat fish, and they eat uh, lechon out there. That's the main three things they eat. And then we'll eat some goat meat, okay? That means you might have to substitute the lamb chops for some goat chops. Who <laughs> 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 got right there, everybody? Let's eat. Smooth, he said, um, that saw in your background sound like Z-Pack machine. Yeah, I don't know. They, they saw, they have to cut the, the, the tiles to the squares to appropriate sizes to cut them down before they put them on the floor. That's what he's doing. He's cutting it down to certain sizes that will fit properly. And so uh you hear that until they get the, we got we gotta go have them do the garage. And he said do you want them to do one of our restaurant? She don't like the towel in there, so she gonna have them do that too. They gonna do the outside first, and then they, it's a small restaurant that won't take that long right like that with that. So uh <clears throat> that's what they doing. Rock okay, who we got? Murphy, he said sounds like you better be. Yeah. Oh Murphy, you you missing it, man. <laughs> We put tile in the, in the uh we put tile in the, in, in the garage. We tile in the garage. I told y'all, so you missed the first part of the show. We come when you come to the Philippines, you know, like you said, you buy a house, you got a garage, right? You just got cement on the floor, right? That's it. Out here, they don't play that. <laughs> they don't play that just cement. They want you to they put tile out. And I've resisted it since we've been out there almost eight years. I resisted it every year. Until this year, these D1 always want a towel. I said, like, you, you know, towel on the ride for them? So just for what? You know? But anyway, she found somebody doing somebody else's house, and she they gave her an excellent deal on it. So I said, let's do it, man. For that price, you couldn't, you couldn't keep turning it down. So that's what we're doing, man. They're dialing the garage, and then we got a restroom upstairs. Uh, then she wants them to towel that restroom, too. So they may be there, they may be here two or three days. But that's what's happening, man. Round chain, Bobby. Who we got? He's a raw. Yes, right. All my gold members, all my members in the house sell raw. <laughs> Let's go, round chain, Bobby. Easy one day. Who we got? Moose. So he said, "Your cup looks like an African artifact." <laughs> Get Moose out of You don't miss nothing, man. I'll tell you what this cup is. Y'all remember when I did my show on my the opening on the box opening? This came from Dubai. This has a. It says, uh, "What does it say?" cappuccino and then it's got the word i don't know if you can see it you've got the word dubai see that word right d-u-b-a-i that's what it says from dubai this came from the box that uh we had a box opening and this came this is one of the cups dc D got one like this but her color this is great this is what emma emmy sent us when she sent the package to us that package took almost six months to get to us man long time but yeah this is this is what it is. My y'all remember my YouTube cup? Yeah. It's gone now. Unless y'all know what happened to it, little bit. <laughs> These got a hold of that cup as a <laughs> but she she dropped it by today. Let's go right there. Who we got? Burby head in the house at China said to have hypersonic missiles that four times faster than supersonic. Our missiles can't. Yeah, I, I, that's what happened there. We have not, we have pulled back on our defense spending. And so, as a result, many of the other nations are way ahead of us as far as our weapons are concerned. So, uh, that doesn't mean we can't beat them, you know. That doesn't mean because you know what wins the war. Y'all know what wins the war, right? Is it the weapons? Huh? Is it men? Hmm? Is it training? Wins the war. Whatever wins the war is the strategy. That's how. That's why women always whipping y'all off. But they have strategy. 
You know, like a strategy to get in your pocket. Yeah. Strategy. That's what wins the war. When you are strategic in your planning, when you are strategic in your thinking, that's when you can dominate your competition. That's when you can dominate whoever you're going up against. Okay? Ain't about your size. Ain't about the size of the dog. It's about the dog in the fight. Okay? That's what wins the war. Strategy. How you thinking? So, you know, people say, well, the Ukraine, they're going to take them out. No, nah, not necessarily. Ukraine has to develop a sound strategy to deal with a bullet. Hmm? If they do that, they're going to be all right. Hmm? You know, and even though, they, let's, say, let's say that uh, Russia overtakes them, okay? They ain't want, it's not over yet because they still got people living in there. They're going to want them hit and run. Now they didn't ask him, hit and run, hit and run. They still, they're going to they gonna hit and run. They're going to always find a way, a strategy to, to fight on to the last man stand. Let's go, Ron Train. Who we got? Who, Sam? He said, if I could bring my dog, I would stay two months. <laughs> you bring your dog, man. You bring your dog. Uh, this is going to be a lot. It's going to be very, very expensive for you, my brother. But you can bring dogs. You know, if people bring dogs out here. But uh, you must love that dog, man. You're going to pay. <laughs> I know, I don't know what it is, man. I, I, I don't know if I told y'all this before. People out here, they love animals. And in particular, dogs. And, and, and so here's what happens. They love the animals, right? But they don't love cleaning them. And they don't love feeding them. And they don't love walking them. So the animals wind up sucking them. And they call them a pet. You don't treat your pet like nothing. I told you, when you get an animal, that's almost like a human being. You got to feed them, you got to bathe them, you got to take them to, the, to get their shots, but they don't do that out here. Most of them don't do that to dogs. They just feed them a little scrap, that's it. And a dog wind up sucking. You know, that's, to me, that's mistreating an animal. You don't take no time to spend with them. You don't walk them, you don't bathe them. You just, you just a dog hanging in the house. Yep. And, and they, they, that's why so many, you come out here, you see a lot of dogs, stray dogs, and cats running the street. Ryan, who we got? Who? He said, yes, by big men like me, Sunshine Shoulders, and Doc Mike look good on you. And Dickie said, <laughs> Doc Mike, you mean Dr. Mike? Man, Dr. Mike, I don't know about him. I don't know a whole lot about Dr. Mike. I fell out of him. <laughs> I don't know a long time ago. I don't, I don't even say that name on my show. Let's go, Rob Chain, by release one nation. We got Mervyn Hayes. He said, uh, I'll wear the same clothes over and over. Hey, that's it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I got me a pair of pants. Let's see. I, I got, I'm like this, Murphy. I do the same thing. You know what I do? I got me some short pants, right? And these pants, they turn inside out. No, they, the reversal. I wear those pants every, sometimes I wear the same pants three days. I just keep turning them. <laughs> I just keep turning them inside out. They don't know. You know, and then, you says, how many times y'all watch it? 15. <laughs> nah. He said, how many times I watch it twice? He said, time to watch it. You know, that's how I do. And that's how you do. If you got reversible pants, bring you some reversible pants. For me, my work, but they don't. They must. They cost more than the regular pants. Man. They, oh. I, if you have three reversible pants, I short pants. I got a long one too, though. Uh-huh. Okay, but you can find them. You can find. Go to the store, maybe Walmart. You can find some reversible pants. That way you won't have, they won't look like you're wearing the same thing over and over. Then you cover couple versatile pants and then a couple of shirts, whatever. You got it, man. Let's go right there, Bobby DC, One Nation. Who we got? Oops. He said, well, Bobby, the black Filipino said the same thing you said about street food there. It might be half eaten leftover food. Hey, man, yeah. Uh, uh, Free food out here, man. Uh, there's several types of food. Well, first, we want to talk about the regular street food, which is good food, uh, but they don't cook it right. That's one type, okay? And you can eat that good food, they don't cook it right, and you messed up. I had one of our subscribers came here, hey, not about three years ago now. Never changed, right? He came here and he ate some street food, and he was running to the restroom his whole trip. He had to go to the doctor. Yeah, you had to go to the doctor to get the get the running stuff, get the medication. So you got to be careful with the street food because they cook it. Sometimes they don't cook it right. The next thing about street food is called uh, pog 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 pog. You don't want to touch that. Uh, 
How far is the food that they get from the garbage? Okay. And usually you find pop pop in Manila. They get the food from the garbage. Like this in McDonald's throw out the food, or whatever restaurant throws the food, throw in the garbage can in the, in the big dumpster. They wait till the restaurant restaurant closes and they go in the dumpster and they get the, the half eaten meat, whatever it's half eaten, chicken. And you know what they do with it? They wash it in water, right? And they call it some boiling the ground. They wash it. They say that's cleaning, but I don't believe it. And then, then they cook it up. And then they make it look good and they sell it. It's called pug pug. So stay away from the pug pug, but you don't know what you're getting with that. Uh, a lot of people eat pug pug every day and they're healthy. But I wouldn't do it. I, I just I just wouldn't do it. I just I don't think that's right. But uh a lot of people buy pug pug meat. You read why they buy it? It's cheap. They sell it cheap and they know it's been from the uh the dumpster. They know it. And they the people that sell pug pug, they know who sell the pug pug. They know what they're doing and they buy it because it's cheap. So that's the type of food. And I don't eat, I don't eat very much food off the street. And Lisa did tell you that when we eat off the street, what we gonna get here? Barbecue. Barbecue. The barbecue's on a stick. And make sure when you buy street food, street food, make sure it is hot. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell you. Buy you buy the barbecue because it's what? Hot. Right off the grill. You can see it's on a stick. And and because the heat will do what? kill the bacteria and germs so that's when you don't get no cold stuff out there get it hot if you got to get something on the street make sure it's hot. and then usually they cook it in front of you when you when you buy it they'll cook it right in front of your face so you know what they're doing but make sure it's hot that way the germs and bacteria won't wind up getting in your system so what happens also guys is that a lot of people come out here and their system is not prepared to handle the germs and bacteria but the Filipinos can handle like nothing because they're used to it. The system is used to it. Okay? But we come out here and eat it like because we, we don't we, we're not we're not accustomed to it yet. Our body is adjusted to it. So be careful when you come out here, don't taste everything. Don't say I gotta taste it, I gotta taste it. Be careful with that. Okay. Let's go right who we got. Murder hey, he said, oh, okay, that's great. He turned the garage to the den. Okay, he turned the garage into the den. Lisa D is turning on my garage. I thought at least these turn into Roger. I guess it. Now, I'm gonna have Roger as a man cave, you know? And at least these gonna have her as a woman cave. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna be fighting each other for time in the garage. You know, they get that time done. That's my time, baby. You got to go. She goes, ah, ah, ah. Now, what she's doing, she uses the garage. Because now, remember I told you she had the business to close? People around here are coming to here to buy stuff from there. She got a lot of customers over here now. Yeah. And so she, she, they know her. They be coming over here. But sometimes she let them have credit and they pay when they get paid. So yeah, she's doing that with the garage too. Let's go, Roger. Who we got? Who said, he said, did Lisa get mad and throw to go to YouTube? Cup at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was washing dishes one day. And she dropped a cup, man. She dropped my YouTube cup for washing dishes. Said, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. Said, Sorry about that. I'm just lying. You're looking at your YouTube cup. <laughs> no, they asked me about this cup. I told them we got it from Dubai. You got one like Abu Dhabi. I'm sorry, that's Abu Dhabi. From Emmy. Why has it got Dubai on it, Dubai also, but Emmy said that Dubai, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. That's not that's not Dubai. That Doc. Yeah, this is Dubai. I'm sorry. Anyway, this got Abu Dhabi on it, but at least uh, she sent it from, uh, this got Dubai on it, but she sent it from Abu Dhabi. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, Emmy sent that. Let's go, Ron James, Bobby. Who we got? Uh, Monroe, what the hell, Monroe, Monroe, Monroe? What's up, Monroe? So good to say it, so good to say it. Ron's bullet in the house. What's up, man? You good? You good? He's ill about it. Exactly. Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> in the house. We got Greensboro in the house, in the house, in the house. What's up, man? Hey, so good to see you, man. You were out of the caboose tonight, but that's all right, man. I know you just got off, you just got off the internet talk to your lady, man. And she trying to make sure you set getting yourself ready to come down there and see her. Because I know you're trying to back out right about now. So I don't know if I can see you. I got to work to do. He said, you better get on down here. <laughs> you better see me. Hey, y'all. I know sometimes y'all get second thoughts. I know. Some of y'all get scared. You know why I know? 
You know, it's true. When my first trip, man, when I really got, what really hit me, guys, when I'm my first trip, and I bought that ticket. <laughs> I said, what have I done, done to myself? <laughs> so when you buy that ticket, guess what? My, my brothers, ain't no turning back, okay? Go and buy the ticket, then you can't, you can't pull out of it. Okay, you can't get out of it. Buy the ticket, man. Let's go around Jay Bobby Nisi one day. Who we got? I agree, Bob. Tomorrow, he said, hello, man. Give it to you, friend. What's up, man? You good? You good? Round Jay Bobby Nisi one day. on the group of love. Very hey, he said, make sure it's not pop pop, folks. Says, yeah, make sure it's not pop pop. Uh, uh, but usually, the people that sell pop pop, uh, Filipinos know who they are. You may not know. So uh, just, just make sure. This is this is pop up. They'll tell you. They, they may lie about it too. <laughs> they don't know. Round J about easy one day. Who we got? Oh, what's up, man? You good? So good to say it. So good to say it. So good to say. He said a black Filipino made a video today on the problem the Philippines is having right now with foreigners throwing their brain on the industry. Oh, that's been going on forever, man. That's really serious. What about you? Hey, um, that's that. I've I've done videos like that too. Uh. Foreigners, that's that's called uh, sex trafficking. That's sex trafficking and child and sex, tra sex trafficking children and pedophiles. That's what that is about. I've done many shows on that. It's not a pleasant subject, and you see it happen. And uh, the only thing you can do is report it when you see it happen. Even if you, even if you look at it and see it, and you may not not sure about it, report it anyway because it could be, you know. And uh, that's that's been happening for a long time here. This is one of the sex trafficking uh, places in Southeast Asia that does it a lot. So is Thailand. So you will find that here. And uh, when you find it, contact the local authorities and have it done, have it taken care of. Yeah, um, it happens, man. You know, and this is this is this is life. It happens not only here, but it happens in the United States with dog on America. Same thing. No. People don't want to admit it, but it happens. I, I think it happens more here than there, but you know, a lot of things are not talked about that much. Okay, but that's a part of this society. It is just one of the sex trafficking capitals of the world, uh, and so is Thailand and other small southeastern Asian countries. And the reason why they benefit by that is because uh, we got a lot of sickos out there. I call them sickos. They're not right up in here. They're crazy. Not to prey on small innocent children, they need to be throwing a book at them. Okay, they're sickos, and they don't need to be. I don't want to get into it. Let's go around to everybody. You see, one nation. Who we got? What's up, Monroe? He said, Hello, Murphy. Hey, what's up, man? You good? You good? You good? Round train, Bobby Nisi. Who got? Monroe. He said, Hello, John. What's up, man? You good? Round train, Bobby Nisi. One nation. Murphy. He said, Hello, North Carolina. Now, North Carolina in the house. In the house. North Carolina in the house. What's up? What's up? Uh, uh, like he said, uh, smooth sound. What's up, smooth? You good, man? All right, they're saying they're saying they're greeting. Like, knock it like he said, good guys. Terry Fleming and John Thomas. Terry Fleming was number one, John Thomas, number two. Who's that ride right train by release? He said, Street Food is a no no for me now. I wouldn't fool with it. Only, only time I do street food is a barbecue on a stick because it's cold. Some heat, I see them cooking, and I know heat kills what the bacteria, he kills germs. Because a lot of people don't cook the food right. And then a lot of people, when they have street food, I'll tell you about a lot of Filipinos. I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to talk bad about the Filipinos, but I'm telling you the reality is when you get out of it. You're a guy that you do our number one, or number two, whatever. And most of them, they don't do one of these. And they, they cook it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. So I, I made sure they got some heat on something when I eat. But I don't know what they're doing with their hands. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am, you know? Some of y'all ain't like y'all eat it, but I'll pray that. <laughs> Are you eating the Yeah, what do you say? Uh, uh he said, man cave, and he said, yeah, she did. <laughs> hey, man, we're going we to work this thing out, y'all. We like to live peaceful. We like to live happy. And uh, it's about doing what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it. Now I have the ability to do so. Back then, when I was tired down, all I could do was work, 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 work. And then I, have, I had no time, very little time for me, developing me and doing the things I wanted to do, things I like to do. Now I got it. You know? So 
I take advantage of it. And this is just a blessing to me. She, she supports me with everything I do, and uh, I support her as well. That's why I, I try to help her with everything. Ain't nothing too great good for Lisa D if I can do it. If I can do it. Sometimes she wants something, I'm not, I'm not doing it. But that, when you got somebody to support her for you, you want to be there for her as well. Project, who we got? Anthony Lee, what's up, man? So good to say it, so good to say it, so good to say it. Ron Trey, Bobby Lee, he wanted to know that we want love. He said, what's up, Bobby Lee, D? We doing good, what's man. You good? He said, I got my airline ticket today. Coming oh. out to the CI and hey, A. Why, man? So good to see you, man. He said, I'm afraid the prices might go sky high with the war. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's so already high. Prices are already high because they knew y'all were coming. They jacked it up. Now with the war, they, it's gonna be, everything's going to go high. Oil prices already shot up over hundred dollars a barrel. They ain't seen that in like eight years. Oil is over hundred dollars a barrel because you know uh, one of the biggest oil producing nations is Russia, and so everybody's shunning Russia right now. So they can't put no oil out. So the other people say, "Oh, Russia ain't doing no oil." All the people in the Arab say, "Let's go up the price. <laughs> we got to make more oil for them, right? Let's go up on the price." So that's what's happening. Um, you know, uh, that's the price that we have to pay for freedom, for supporting freedom. So I'm willing to bear it. You know, I'm not in the USA. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come down here too. All prices have been going up here every week. Gasoline prices have gone up for the last, what, eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that? Every week. So we're feeling it as well, and we will continue to feel it even more. Uh, and, and so this is a, the Russia is doing a playbook, y'all. They're developing a playbook. And guess who's getting ready to read the playbook? China, because they want to take over uh, Taiwan. No? And so, so we need to stop the bullet. Let's go around train by the One Nation on the who we got? Anthony Liggins, I'm going to spend my birthday in Palawan. Okay, Palawan. Hey, man, y'all hear everybody say he's going to Palawan with his Filipino. Hey, Palawan's a nice place, guys. If you ever get to the Manila area, go out to Palawan. The beaches out there are some of the best white sandy blue water beaches in the world. I've never been there, but I've seen it on TV, man. They usually have the dives, you know, diving competitions from cliffs. They usually had it out there follow on and the water's beautiful, man. So y'all need to go on. He going out there to follow on. He going to have a fire say, party over here, party over there. Hey, man, do your thing, man. You make make the most of it and make your moment last, okay? Take some pictures, some videos, because you never know when they're going to shut the door back down again. I'm telling you, man, if another variant come out here tomorrow, you know, Philippines will shut it down. And <laughs> hopefully they won't do it this time, but they have, that's their history of shutting it down as soon as another variant come out. We hopefully won't do it. All right, we're going to check out easy one nation. Merva he said, I was invited to do it live, but turned it down. Don't like being on camera. Okay. You're invited to do it live with somebody turn it. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, man. You know, some people like uh, okay with camera. Some people don't, you know. Do your thing, whatever, whatever you're happy with. But uh, I I didn't like it at first. When I first started doing YouTube, I didn't like being on camera either. <laughs> but I did it because I knew I had to do it. And then I just became, it just became secondhand. I just became used to it. So, you know, once you start doing it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, she said, geez, the one, that's the one. She couldn't stand being on camera <laughs> for two years, man. I asked, Lisa D refused to do a video with me for two years. I don't see so shy. I'm shy. I'm just, I said, Lisa, it's okay. It's just, just a little bit. I'm just, I'm just. I said, then after, after two years, she said, I'm ready. I said, ready for what? I'm going to be in jail. I said, what? Because I prayed for her. When you pray for somebody, God moves, it'd be like that. In the, in, the, in the blinking of an eye, God can move just like that. And God moved on her. Let's go around train by Lisa one night. Who we got? Uh, food. He said, I love the Philippines, but I hate those monster spiders out there. Monster, I've never seen the spider. You seen monster spiders or big spiders out there? In the jungle. She said the jungle. And in the province. I, I, I've seen the, I haven't seen any big ones. I've seen the small one. I haven't seen the big one. But she, she probably, she, she lives in province, she know. But I don't live, I haven't lived in the province. I've been up visit the province every, you know, we go to province areas, but I haven't lived out there. But uh, not only will you see spiders, my guys, you will see snakes. Mm -hmm. And you know what they do in the province when they see a snake? You know what they do? They eat it. <laughs> they fry. Snakes, snake fried snake is a delicacy. 
Yeah, you better get used to it. And when you before you go, if you go to the problem, before you go sit down on John on the outhouse and the CR, you better check and make sure. <laughs> you better check and make sure it ain't snake and come up in that pot hole. You got that pee hole. All right, that's it, man. Y'all good? Y'all good? Everybody good? All right, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna holler at y'all later on. Uh, not today, but I'll probably get you tomorrow. Uh, if I don't hit you here on the stream yard side, I'm gonna hit you on the stream yard side. If I don't hit you here on the stream yard side, I might hit you on the stream yard side. Family line town center because if they make it too much noise, it's gonna be bad. They just starting the day. They almost finished the first day up there. They got a first day up there. Uh, she said about one fourth of the garage. That's that's fast. That's fast. Man. So uh, I don't think my feet finished by tomorrow. Yeah, maybe one and It's two guys, so they they can work fast. And we got a good price. I ain't gonna tell them what. But these D lock, these D, that's why I like dealing with these D. She always bargained them for good prices. <laughs> they told her one price, and she she bargained them down, baby. She bargained them down to a lower price. That's why I like about these D. She gets that. She gets the Monte out of people. All right, guys. It's been real. It's been real. It's been real. <laughs> well, we got to. Hey, if I do the show to hit from here to my. If I do the show from here tomorrow, we may. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a show about how I can show you step by step. Some of you haven't gotten your tickets yet. I'm gonna show you step by step how to uh, one of the ticket places you can go. There's a bunch. There's a whole ton of out there, guys. It'll make you crazy. But there's a whole bunch of online tickets. I'm gonna show you how to how to check. I'm gonna I'm gonna go walk one. I'm gonna walk through one step by step how you look for your tickets out there. You need to know that some of you guys have been traveling for a while and you don't know the first thing. You got a computer, don't know the first thing. I'm gonna walk you through step by step. Some of you guys already know what to do, like Big John and Anthony, all they, they know that stuff. But some of you guys haven't been doing it. I'm gonna walk this for you. I ain't forgot about y'all. I'm gonna show you step by step. Check this to this. I'm, I'm probably taking you to two online apps uh, and I'll show you step by step with you if I do the show tomorrow. And then, uh, Terry Flynn, I ain't forgot about you. I'm gonna do another show on the, on the SRRV. So because it's y'all, some of y'all come here and want to stay and, and get your retirement visa. SRRV for those of you that may or may not know is a special retirees resident visa. Okay, special retirees resident visa. It's called the SRRV. I've done two shows. I did one in twenty. Uh, I did one in 9, 2019, and I did the update in twenty twenty one. Okay, so I'm gonna do a third update. So uh, I'll give you, bring you guys up to par. Those of you who are thinking about trying to retire in the Philippines, you have a better understanding of what the needs are and which one of the, uh, they have a whole ton of different retirement options here for you. Which one would be best for you? Terry Fleming, you talked about the business one. I don't think that one would be better for you. I think you would get the regular one like that. And you can invest your money in the condo in fact, if you want to, if you want to come, come here and buy a condo, you can take the money that you require you to have and buy that condo, okay, invest it in that condo. Now, you know, that, so there's a whole lot of options for you that are coming here to live and retire. The best for man. Yeah, you know, we want you to see the best for you, not the rest for you. Are you with me, Jay? That's it, man. This is Bobby D, your amazing expat man. And uh, Lisa D. Your tuba queen, <laughs> tuba queen on the scene, say take care. God bless. And peace. Take care. God bless. And peace, y'all. We out. We out. See you on the on the backside of tomorrow. That's it for now.